What's up, outsiders? There's so many different options for winter traction devices. Which one's right for you? Well, it depends. I'm gonna go over five different options of traction devices from Catula, Yaks Tracks, Unigear, and Hill Sound. I'm Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside, and if you do too, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button, click that bell, so you don't miss any future videos. And if you find value in this video, make sure you click that like button. So I have a whole bunch of different brands here between Yaks Tracks and Catulas, Hill Sounds, and Unigear. And I'm going to go through each one of these and kind of go through the pros and cons of each, the types of conditions that you would use each one of these traction devices. And then I got a couple clips to go over of these in action on different terrain. You'll see how they perform. And finally, I'll just kind of summarize where I think each one of these products fits. And you can determine based on your needs, which product is best for you. The first thing I wanted to do is make a distinction between crampons and these traction devices. Typically, crampons are much more aggressive than any of these. And they usually require a special boot. However, there are a few that you can buy that will go on just a regular hiking boot. There's the Black Diamond Contact. Another great one is the Grivel G10, and also Camp makes the Stalker. And then once you go up from there, there is a special binding that requires a mountaineering boot. And usually those are much more aggressive, used for ice climbing or glacier travel or big mountains. For the trails I hike in the Northeast, whether it's in the Adirondacks or White Mountains, or here in Western New York, these traction devices are usually sufficient and they're commonly referred to as micro spikes I call them micro spikes but the actual name micro spike is a registered trademark of Catula so when you go online to do a search for it you'll see Catula micro spikes but everything else might be referred to as a crampon or an ice cleat and actually these hill sounds are actually called trail crampons so it's a little bit confusing, but think of a crampon as a very aggressive, big mountain, big ice type of device. And winter traction devices, ice cleats, micro spikes are kind of that, you know, everyday local trail, maybe some northeast uh, mountains, whether it's a 46er or a, a 4000er in the whites. So let's go into the first one, and this would be the least aggressive. Um, these are the Yaks tracks, and it has these steel coils on the bottom. They're made of zinc or coated in zinc to be abrasion proof and rust proof. And, you know, they're a good device. They're not very aggressive. They work pretty well on gravel, pavement, and a little bit of ice. Very flat. So if you're going on, you know, your local park or in your neighborhood walking your dog, these things work great. Once you start getting into any kind of hills or you know, ravines or any kind of steep terrain, these things don't work really well. Don't really work that well in packed snow because they don't have any kind of spikes. So it's a good product. They're relatively inexpensive. I use them to walk my dog in my neighborhood. The next level up from the Yaks tracks are this new product from Catula. They're called Exo Spikes. And you can see they have these small tungsten carbide spikes on them. And these are really designed for trail running and, and hiking, um, but mostly for packed snow, ice, mud, and some rocky conditions. As you can see, they're not very aggressive, so you can actually walk on you know, pavement with these without a problem. So this has all of the features that are in the Catula Micro Spikes. It has that integrated tow bale. It has reinforced eyelets, as well as the elastomer harness, which is good down to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30 Celsius. All in all, this is a pretty good product, but I think it's geared more towards trail runners rather than hikers. Where this kind of falls down is when you start getting into any kind of snow or ice with steeper terrains, you just don't have the purchase to, to dig these toes in and get a spike in that ice. Then the next level up is the Catula Micro Spikes. As you can see, they're much more aggressive and uh, the spikes are a lot bigger. This is geared more towards hiking and backpacking 
and for conditions like mountain travel and ice, packed snow, and rocks. So the micro spikes have 12 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter spikes made out of stainless steel. It also features a welded chain around the back. And just like the Exo spikes, it has that uh, reinforced eyelet, the integrated toe bail, and that elastomer harness that's good down to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, I've been a big fan of the Catula Micro Spikes for many years. I've recommended them for many years and I've used these for many years. They've gotten me up several Adirondack high peaks in the winter. So I've been hearing more and more people talk about and recommend the Hillsound Trail Crampon. And here it's called a crampon, but really it's that micro spike, but I'm guessing they call it a trail crampon because the word micro spike is trademarked. As you can see, these are a lot more aggressive. These are uh, two thirds of an inch spikes or 1.7 centimeters. It also has a welded chain. The one thing that it doesn't have is reinforced eyelets and the toe bail is a little bit different. It's not actually integrated into the, the elastomer band. It's actually right on the toe on the outside external. I've tried these in a couple icy situations and they are definitely a lot more aggressive and sticky than the micro spikes. It also kind of has a nice feature that I like. It has a Velcro strap to actually keep it in place. I've never had a problem with the micro spikes coming or, uh, undone or falling off or anything like that, but I think that provides a little bit extra protection. Now, I was a little bit hesitant to go to these just because they're a little bit more aggressive, but it actually is pretty comfortable to walk in even on that mixed ground because they disperse the spikes a little bit more than the micro spikes. As you can see, they're spread out a little bit more. So the surface area of where the spike is, is a, you know, a little bit more comfortable. And they say it helps with fatigue and things like that. When I compare the Catula micro spikes to the Hillsound trail crampons, there's, there's a few things that stand out. Number one, these are by far more aggressive. Um, in my tests, I felt a lot more confident on these on ice, and I'll show you in the video what I mean. Um, the other things that I see that's a little bit different is this doesn't have that reinforced eyelet, which I really like on the micro spikes. However, the hill sounds appear to have a much thicker elastomer band than the Catulas. I also like the way the, the micro spikes fit on the toe. I like that integrated toe bail. Um, I don't think this is bad, just a little bit different and I kind of like the way the micro spikes fit a little bit better. The other main difference that I noticed between the hill sounds and the Catulas is that the Catulas have welded chains all the way around, even on the sides here and all the way around and on the bottom. Whereas the hill sounds only have those welded chains on the bottom of the crampon. If you look um, on the sides that come up to the, the elastomer band, it uh, is not welded, but they are uh, doubled up. So I don't know which is better. People have said that the hill sounds have been more reliable than the Catulas, so only time will tell for me on those. I'm gonna probably use the hill sound trails more in the Adirondacks than I do the micro spikes, just because I did feel a lot more confident in that little bit longer spike. The other thing that I noticed was a little bit different between these two is I did find myself actually, if I drag my foot a little bit, I could drag these spikes on the ground, which I rarely do that with the micro spikes. So I think if you get fatigued on the trail and you start dragging your feet a little bit more, um, that'll come into play a little bit more with the hill sounds. I definitely would recommend these hill sounds. Um, I'm pretty impressed with them so far and can't wait to use them in the Adirondacks next week. Then the dark horse of this bunch is what I actually just bought my wife. These are the Unigear traction cleats. And if you look at them, they look very much like the Catula micro spikes in design, save for these Velcro strap that the hill sounds have, which is a really nice feature. Uh, when I look at the actual construction of these, it's very, very close to the Catula micro spikes um, in design. The does have welded chains on the bottom. It's made of stainless steel. 
It has a thermoplastic elastomer that they say goes down to negative 45 Celsius, which is more than the micro spike. So who knows if that's actually true. It has 18 spikes per boot and they're a half inch long. So as you can see, if I can get this to show up on camera, they are a little bit more aggressive than those Catulas. Not quite as large as the Hill Sounds. So they're kind of in between. It does have similar chain bindings on the sides to the Hill Sounds. It does not have the integrated eyelets like the Micro Spikes, but it, it seems like a good product. The metal seems a little bit lighter than the Catula Micro Spikes, but um, we're gonna give it a try. It's gotten tons of great reviews out on Amazon and several people within my hiking group have recommended it and have had them for several years. We're willing to give it a try. The reason I got them is they're half the price of the Catula Micro Spikes. They're only $29.95 on Amazon. I don't know if I would recommend taking these into the Adirondacks or White Mountains at this point. I haven't had enough use on them. Um, I would trust the Catula Micro Spikes or the Hill Sound Trail Crampons in those conditions. But for local trails, this gives you a little more of an aggressive spike for a really reasonable price. All right, so now that we've taken a look at all of these uh, different winter traction devices, I went to a local park. I went to one of my favorites, uh, Chestnut Ridge, where the Eternal Flame Falls is. It's really cool. It's got a uh, natural gas flame that goes behind the falls, and it's really cool to see in winter when it's half ice and half water and the flame behind the ice. So I tried all of these out in different conditions. And we'll, in the first clip that I'm gonna show you, I actually tried to climb the ice of the waterfall. And I first tried it with the hill sounds and they were very, very aggressive. I felt very confident walking over the ice. I was able to kind of dig in without really having to smash my foot into the ground to get the spikes to catch. Uh, I really liked the way they feel. I felt very confident. Um, and I, like I said, I can't wait to use those in the winter in the Adirondacks. Then I tried the Catula Micro Spikes and they performed very well. Not quite as aggressive as the Hill Sounds, but you know, it definitely held up and I didn't slide or slip on the ice at all. And just for the heck of it, I did try the Exo Spikes and they weren't bad. Uh, the, the sky, those tungsten carbide spikes really did uh, go into the ice pretty well. I, I couldn't really dig my toe in to go any elevation, but they held up pretty good. And I didn't even try the X tracks on there because I knew they weren't gonna perform well. And the final clip was my last test was kind of a steep place that was uh, traveled many, many times over. So it was very icy and very slick both in the packed snow and then there was some rocks there as well that were coated over with ice. So my first test was with the hill sounds and going up and down this hill, I felt very confident in both directions. They dug in and were, you know, were very, very uh, sticky on the snow and the ice uh, as expected. Then my next test was the micro spikes and they performed really, really well. They, they dug in, I got right up the hill very easily. Going down the hill I felt very confident. They didn't slip or slide or anything. And then I tried the exo spikes and this is kind of where I expected them to kind of fall a little bit flat. So going up wasn't too bad. I did slip a little bit on the ice on the rock and going down I definitely slid a lot because there wasn't enough spikes to hold my weight back as I went down the hill. And just for the heck of it, I did try the Yax tracks, and surprisingly, they did actually pretty decent going uphill, but they were super slippery going down the hill, and you know, I just kind of slid right down. So I know there's a lot of different options of winter traction devices. Hopefully this gives you an idea of which ones are right for which situations. Uh, no one is right for every situation. I think each one is a good product, but you need to know their their use case and their limitations, and kind of pick that one that's in the sweet spot for most of the places where you hike. So 
If I were to pick, I'd probably go with either the Catula Micro Spikes, which I recommend to a lot of people, um, or if you have any plans to do any kind of mountain climbing in the winter in the Adirondacks or the White Mountains, I would definitely highly recommend these Hill Sounds for that. Um, you know, if you're just looking to walk your dog in your neighborhood, those YX tracks are great. And finally, time will tell, but uh, if you're on a budget and looking for some sort of fairly aggressive spike for local travel, I think these Unigear traction cleats are going to be a pretty good buy. So I hope you liked this video. If you found any kind of value in this video, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see other gear reviews, how-tos, other outdoor adventures, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.